Oh, the Menace team represent. Got a foil promo Labyrinth Raptor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, we will have a text copy of all of them. So we could. Well, I don't think the uh, card bot thing was tracking foils. So we'd miss that stat. But outside of that, we could actually have some cool. Oh, Porky Parrot! Wow. Oh, man. I did not reposition that camera very well. Sorry, everyone. Just sitting here reading cards without you. That's sweet, though. I love that alt art. Haunted Nightmare. Menace. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature that can... <laughs> Three mana, four or five. Hey, and we got the Menace promo. Look at us go. Yeah, it would be really interesting to see what the uh, pool ended up looking like. If there was an actual proportionate amount. Sorry, we have seen the Orphan Guard several times now, so we're just swinging right past him. But, uh, yeah, if there's a disproportionate amount of any particular color or card, and if that influenced, like, I think I do want to collect the deck list of whoever makes it into the top eight like whatever they ended up playing hey we got a triome and still three packs to go we could get there hey twitch Jeff. hey happy birthday padre thanks hey. for coming down how's it going it's unsurprising you get the most viewers for pack and pack <laughs> right <laughs> it's like triple our normal average twitch Where is like what are you guys doing uh so we gave up on that yeah. because it was exceptionally time consuming yeah Hey, is this the band companion? You were never gonna get to the 80. Uh, we're just doing 30 of them, I think, not 80, just for the 1K. But yeah, like it took an hour and 20 minutes to do the first five, six decks, yeah. and we're on deck number 16 now, just going through them on camera. So we'll have to register them a little bit later. <sighs> Pelagor. When this mutates, tap up to X target creatures or X the number of times it's mutated and they don't untap. <gasps> a new mythic. Death touch lifelink. When it cre whenever it mutates, you may return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Holy smokes. And you can play them as a 5 5 for 5 and then mutate onto it, right? Nutter butters. Absolute nutter butters. Uh, so, you read online on our Ikoria pre-order thing, and we are doing our normal pre-release schedule on Discord. So, we've got them at 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and midnight on Friday, and then 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. on Saturday, I think. I think we have it currently listed as doing them every two hours, but we do not have enough entrance to actually do it every single two hours. Um... So, online, the one case in its own category, because we didn't want anyone who was, like, casually browsing the Acoria registration to think that we were charging $35 for just a period. I don't know. I don't remember the exact logic of why we put them. Um, you go into, here, I'll just grab the link and put it into the Twitch chat. That'll work. All right. Uh, so it's under Ikoria pre-order and pre-release instead of under the event category altogether. So they should be in there. And let's see what this last pack looks like. And then I actually have some, not, I don't know if it's sad news, you guys are probably bored of this, but we're going to take a quick break. Oh my gosh, a second hunt and nightmare. <laughs> um, we're going to take a quick break with that absurdity lingering there. And uh, we're actually, I'm not even gonna stop the stream because we have our commander guys here and they're gonna be setting up to crack open some commander packs, or not commander packs, commander decks and show you guys. And then a little bit later tonight, they're gonna be playing a commander game with the new commander decks. So I will bid you adieu for a few minutes here. <laughs> 